You don't come a skip of a, a big Gaffrig schooner and learn to race it overnight. It takes years of practice and continuity in your crew is really important. Marriott was the first boat I worked on. Sorting out the flying sails between the mast up the rig is about the best job in the world. I started sailing in about uh, professionally in about 96 and uh, joined as deckhand and I spent three years with her and then went off and sailed on some other boats and then rejoined as captain in 2005. Schooners are really different boats, a lot more hands-on, there's just more action. Once they get going you've got this big rumble going and everyone feels it, you know, from their toes up to their fingers, it's good. I had a yacht called Sunshine, which I built myself. All my life I've been sailing on, uh, pretty much on schooners. The schooner is very flexible, you can play around with it. You've got hundreds of tons moving along and you feel that power, which is not, you don't feel that on a fiber boat. So I think that's a sensation that's enjoyable. It's a great feeling to be surrounded by lots of people all working very hard, putting sails up and down. It doesn't happen without it, there being a really fantastic communication from bow to stern and a huge team effort from everyone on board. And uh, sometimes, you know, you come across the finish line, all your sails are up and set, but there is just chaos all over the deck. There's sails everywhere, but the boat is going fast in the right direction with the right sails up, all trimmed nicely. I've sailed quite a lot on uh, an Atlantic. I love her grace, also she is so fantastic to see. She's really thrilling because she's, she's going very, very fast. We did up till 23 knots and we go easily up to, uh, to 18 knots, so it is really fantastic on a big boat like this, going so easily through the oceans. And that's a great feeling. <laughs> she's so forgiving, but she's so powerful as well. And when Ed called me the first time, asking if I was able to sail on Atlantic, I was like, oh, well, I really want to do this. Some events would be really fantastic for there to be schooner events, because then we all fare the same in the same way, apart from Elena, who just seems to sail fast and everything. It's a dream to, to drive the boat. It's like absolutely incredible. It's a small boat by today's standards. You know, we're 60 metres over length, overall length from the end of the bowsprit to the end of the, the boom. There's a one hell of a lot of sail on that boat, and it is unbelievably manageable. I built the boat, I sailed the boat, and there's no way I'd really change it for anything else.